So here we show a Highland Tank oil water separator. Uh, the tank is full of clean water on startup and we're flowing from right to left. So the wastewater is coming in through the inlet pipe on the right side. We're hitting a velocity head diffusion baffle, which is slowing down the uh, turbulence, creating a nice laminar flow. As we move through the tank, large droplets float to the top of the water and the smaller particles move through the Corella plates. Now they're flat on top and corrugated in the bottom. So solids that hit the flat top slide down and uh, sink to the bottom. Oil is moving through the corrugated plates and the corrugations are trapping the oil, forcing them to coalesce and form larger particles of oil. So they're being directed upwards to the top of the water. Uh, we're showing an easy access manway so the coalescers can be pulled out and inspected. Uh, and again, oil is accumulating on top of the water. As we move through, we have a secondary coalescer, which is a polypropylene mesh material that's attracting small oil droplets to the mesh and it's coalescing and floating to the top of the water. Now those also can be removed through a uh, easy access rectangular manway that we're showing uh, for inspection and clean out. And again, as we're uh, you know, accumulating oil on top of the water, uh, we're flowing through the vessel. And as the oil builds up on top of the water, it sinks the top float, which sounds an alarm on our control panel. Now this control panel has two oil float uh, alarm conditions, high and high, high. Uh, we also have a double wall vessel with leak detection that has a, a fuel or water interstitial probe. Flow is moving through the downcomer pipe on the outlet. That is set at 20% off the bottom of the vessel. So clean water is flowing out while we're trapping oil on top of the water and solids at the bottom of the front end. Oil is pumped out through the 4-inch pump-out pipe uh, through the top center line of the tank.